Hello people of YouTube and welcome to the introduction video for my Learning Dutch series. I am going to be making quite a few videos about Dutch and hopefully helping some of you out that are trying to learn my native language, which I think is quite exciting. But before I start talking about the language in more detail, I want to give you five reasons to start studying Dutch. Let's begin with reason number one. Even though the Netherlands are only a small country, we have a surprisingly large amount of Dutch speakers. Roughly 28 million people speak Dutch. About 70 million of these Dutch speakers live in the Netherlands and then there's an additional 6 million people that live in the Flemish speaking part of Belgium. So about 23 million Dutch speaking people live in the original Dutch speaking area. The remaining 5 million Dutch speakers mostly live in the former Dutch colonies such as Suriname, Curaçao and Bonaire. But there are also a number of large Dutch communities in countries such as Australia and Canada that have originated from Dutch people emigrating to these countries. All of these 28 million Dutch speaking people combined make for the fact that we are in the top 40 of most spoken languages in the world, which I think is quite impressive. Additionally, and this one I found particularly interesting, is that we are in the top 12 of most used languages on the internet. On to reason number two. Dutch is quite a weirdly cobbled together language that has originated from English, German, French and some of the Scandinavian languages. And all of these languages are very easily recognizable within Dutch. So if you are familiar with some of these languages, then Dutch is a very interesting language to see where these languages came from and how these languages came to be and how they formed another language, namely Dutch. So if you are more interested in the technical and historical backgrounds of languages, I think Dutch is a very, very interesting language to know about. Additionally, Dutch has a few sister languages such as Frisian and Afrikaans. Frisian is mostly spoken by the Frisian population in the Netherlands and Afrikaans is spoken all the way down in South Africa, which is a very good reminder of the Dutch seafaring, traveling and sadly colonizing history. But particularly interesting because if you pay close enough attention, you can as a Dutch speaker have a decent conversation with people who speak Afrikaans or Frisian. Weirdly enough though, to me, Afrikaans, the language that is ridiculously far away, is easier to understand than Frisian, the language that is right next to my province. Reason number three, and this is the one that brings us to the slightly more quirky reasons, is that you can confuse people in having them think that you're just a drunk German. Dutch is ridiculously closely related to German, but the sounds we produce in Dutch are quite a bit different from high German, if you will. So if you get lucky and you act a little bit weird on top of you speaking Dutch, you might even be able to confuse a German into thinking that you are just drunk. Such a quality reason, this one. Then reason number four. Because Dutch is such a cobbled together language from the languages that surround it, Dutch is quite a quirky sort of language. I don't think it's too difficult from a grammar point of view, but we do have quite a lot of weird exceptions that are interesting to learn about. Additionally, we have some factors that other languages don't really have, such as add-ons to nouns that make the object of the noun smaller. Our nouns are also sort of gendered, but not quite gendered, and they have two separate definite forms, but no one really knows when and why to use them. So quite quirky indeed. And then to end it off is our delicious and lovely DT trap. If you are already a Dutch speaker, you will definitely know what I am talking about here. And reason number five, which is the very most important reason, we have the word gezellig. Good, so that concludes the five reasons of why you should absolutely start picking up some Dutch and obviously following my little teaching Dutch video series. Now, I am by no means a qualified teacher. I want to get that out of the way before we even start doing the teaching. I am, however, a native Dutch speaker and I would love to help out those of you who are learning my native language. And if you have any questions, I will try to answer them as adequately as possible, but I am not a qualified teacher. 
I feel like that's kind of important to say here. So which Dutch learning related subjects can you expect in the not too distant future? Quite a few different things actually, starting off with learning some basic phrases. Then we have asking questions and how to get started on the Dutch Duolingo, conjugating verbs, how to count in Dutch, formal versus informal forms, verkleinwoorden, which are those add-ons to nouns that make the object of the noun smaller. And after that, I am not quite sure yet, but there's probably a whole lot more that we can talk about in this series. If you have any requests for stuff you want me to talk about within the Dutch language, definitely let me know in the comments down below or send me a message on Twitter, something along those lines, and I would be very happy to make a video about those subjects as well. Additionally, if you have any questions about the stuff that I have talked about in my videos, same thing applies, comments down below or send me a tweet and I will be very, very glad to help you out in your Dutch learning endeavors. And I think that is it for today. So thank you very much for watching and don't forget to randomly push some of the positive buttons down below, stick around for the whole Dutch learning series and I will see you next time. Doeg!